Hi, this is Dr. Tony Morg, author, speaker, inventor, board certified orthopedic surgeon, and endoscopic spine specialist. Today, I'd like to demonstrate the Richard Wolf cervical endoscopic instrumentation. And this is actually to accomplish a cervical discectomy for a bulging disc in a cervical spine. This is really a neat setup because through a 1 8 to 1 quarter inch incision, this instrumentation can be placed in a cervical disc to remove a symptomatic cervical disc in part. And that's oftentimes all that's necessary. So let's take a look and see. We have the cervical spine here, and this is looking at it from the front. And normally speaking, the trachea and esophagus and, and the neck vessels are here. But just by pulling these structures aside allows me, with a very small incision, to actually place this instrument, which is the cannula, into a disc space. And this is less than five millimeters. So this instrumentation at its maximum is a quarter of an inch. And if we tip it to the other side because it's oblong, we can see that it's not even an eighth of an inch. So this actually is inserted at an angle like this into the disc space. And then once we have access to the interior of the disc space, this cannula is removed and then a another piece is placed on here so that the scope, and again, look at the, just it's just a couple, it's a two millimeter scope with the eyepiece which then hooks up to the uh, television camera. This goes off to the TV camera that, and then this valve here allows a water source. So we've got the water source, We've got a light source at the tip. The light source at the tip is here. And that will allow us to see inside the disc space. And then once we have, we have this cannula, cannula meaning a hollow, hollow tube, will allow the channel to the inside of the cervical disc. So it's going to be like that. At this point, the scope can be actually placed in here. So we're now actually in a position like this. This can be rotated a little bit. And then we can see that here's a little grasping instrument that's two millimeters in diameter, very small. And you can see that while I'm looking through here with the TV camera, I can actually place this down inside the disc and grasp. Compare this instrument, which is completely inside the disc base, compared to this dime. We're probably a quarter of the size of this dime. So we're talking something very small here inside the disc base. And then once we have a piece of fragment, we just pull it on out the same way that we got it in. So out it comes. And then we take the little fragment and take it off. And then we can put the instrument back in again to reach back in for some more debris as necessary until all the fragments are removed. The idea being that a disc bulge or disc fragment could be removed endoscopically and thus spare the remaining and normal part of the disc without having to undergo a fusion. So in my idea, for a symptomatic disc in the cervical spine, this represents a significant breakthrough in instrumentation to allow a, just a cervical discectomy that addresses the disc only and does not disturb much of the surrounding tissues. As a matter of fact, having the instrumentation be this small can allow for uh, this type of procedure be done under uh, conscious sedation even where there's really minimal uh, discomfort 
and a uh, patient can go and leave within usually 40 minutes to an hour after this procedure. And you can just see why. I mean, the, in, the incision is between an eighth and, a, eighth and a quarter of an inch maximum. And look at it compared to the dime, how small this is. And so this is an easy procedure to perform as an outpatient. Really replaces the fusion type operation with a significant increase in morbidity and long-term recovery. Hey, thanks for watching this demonstration of an anterior cervical discectomy with the Richard Wolf uh, system. If you've got any further questions, uh, give me a call at the office or look at my webpage, drtonymort.com. Appreciate you looking at this and taking a look at this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.